come in. Okay, this is my studio. You can see behind you there's quite a lot of long paintings, which are quite different to the portraiture work. A lot of the figures are figures taken from window drawings and drawings I've done in my brown books, my little sketchbooks. The portraiture work, most of the paintings are of my mum, apart from a few other people who have kindly sat for me. Why have you chosen your mum as your subject? Please? My mum was always there for me to paint, right, from quite a young age. In fact, mum and dad were both my first models. Um, I only ever painted and drew them. It just became a process because it's been going on for so long. I mean, I probably started painting when I was a kid. So I just want to carry on the whole thing and, you know, be a nice record for me to have to see how I kind of recorded her through the years. My mum's like my chief critic. She's the one who kind of instigates, oh, you know, you need to get this sorted now. You need to get back to it. So the paintings with the writing, I started that probably about four years ago. It's a study for a bigger piece. It's based around my mum's cooking. She will cook quite a large batch of food and then freeze it for me so that I can bring it back to London and use it. These are the little labels that she writes on the food stuff. I've got a whole book full of her labels. I'll use the writing from that as the background. So she's actually doing some of the writing. I'm picking out the bits that I need and then she'll contribute her bit. All of the places that I paint, they have a personal connection to me. Um, so it's kind of like infused with like whatever I've experienced there or something from childhood or those sort of things. My proposal was to go to Fiji. They had a lot of political unrest at the time and there was a similarity between what was going on there and what happened to my dad in Kenya when he left. So I spent um, probably close to three or four months working on the show and in Fiji I spent something close to about eight weeks going around the country talking to people. I had my sketchbook with me and my drawing boards, so I'd get people to sit for me and I'd draw them and talk to them. Whatever they'd be talking to me about would end up being titles for the work. The prize was a great prize, you know, it just really turned it around and um, it got people to notice me. So, you know, there was galleries who were interested then saying that, well, you know, we'd like you to do a show. So it kind of got my foot on the ladder. When I'm on the streets, I'll be, I'll be basically carrying a drawing board, if I can just show you. So I'll have one of my homemade drawing boards, like this, and um, then I'll walk around and do drawing. So for example, this one relates to the middle one behind you. So um, that's, that's done on location, so I was drawing it there. And then I make colour references as well, which I'll then use to work up the final piece. I was really lucky when I was doing my A-levels, I had two great tutors. They taught me the importance of sketchbooks, you know, and, and to really concentrate on looking. Um, work fast when you can. You don't have all the time in the world because people are moving all the time, so you've got to try and capture as much as you can. It's like Edgar Degas, he used to say that same thing, you know, you capture it and then you do the rest in, from your head. I love looking at other people's sketchbooks for that reason, because it just seems even more important than the actual final paintings. Um, so yeah, draw, concentrate on looking, you know, and kind of use a sketchbook all the time if you can, you know, when you're out and about, keep one with you always. <laughs>